Hello CAs, today's video is on ESA 3.0 course. As we all know, exams are due in May or June 2023. And being professional either in a practice or a job, we don't have much time to study. So this video consists of maximum of mnemonics that can be learned easily even at the time of traveling. I will share complete ESA course with you using mnemonics with these videos. I can assure you will be definitely got clear in one attempt. You can try these videos content on any module questions or a mock test papers. Now, today we are starting with module 6 that is Emerging Technologies. I have divided this module into three parts. Part 1 consists of Artificial Intelligence and Blockchain. Part 2 consists of Cloud Computing, Data Analytics. And Part 3 consists of Internet of Things and Robotic Process Automation. So, let's start today with Part 1 of Module 6 with your professional buddy C. A. Neha Arkash. Topic number 1 is Artificial Intelligence, Common Technologies Used in Artificial Intelligence. And mnemonic for the same is natural movers. Natural stands for natural language processing. M stands for machine learning. O stands for planning, scheduling and optimization. V stands for vision. E stands for expert system. R stands for robotics. And S stands for speech. Next topic is types of AI. AI are of two types. Based on capabilities and based on functionalities. Based on capabilities have three type of uh, uh, three types. Based on capability have three types, weak AI, general AI and super AI. Weak AI can perform a dedicated task only. General AI can perform an intellectual task with efficiency like a human. Super AI is a level of intelligence of system at which machine could surpass human intelligence and can perform any task better than a human. Next, based on functionality, so it's, it is in, involves reactive machines, limited memory, theory of mind and self-awareness. Reactive machine is just like a, such AI system do not store information or past experience for future actions. This machine can only per, focus on current scenarios and react on current possible best action. Limited memory can store past experience or some data for a short period of time. So reactive cannot do uh, cannot store any past experience. Limited memory can store a experience on a limited time. Theory of mind, AI should understand the human emotions, people, beliefs and be able to interact socially like humans. But I will tell you that this type of AI machine is still not developed. But the researchers are making lots of efforts to make such kind of AI machines. Next is self-awareness. AI is the future of artificial intelligence. AI does not exist in reality still and is a hypothetical concept. Next topic is advantages of AI and mnemonic for the same is NRD and stand for no breaks like human do not require frequent breaks. R stand for repetitive jobs like repetitive jobs which are monotonous in nature and can be carried out with the help of machine intelligence because machine can think faster than human and can be put out can be put to multitask that is why this is one of the advantages of AI. D stands for D daily application, E stands for error reduction, then E stands for difficult exploration and D stands for digital assistant. So, this mnemonic is our NRD. So, think about it. When we take a picture, the artificial intelligence algorithm identify and detect the person's face and tag the individual when we are posting our photograph on a social media site. So, tagging apne aap se wo person ko identify and tag kar aata hai. So, that, that, that shows the artificial intelligence. So that is the one of the example of artificial intelligence. Next topic is error reduction. Help us in reducing the errors and the chance of re reaching accuracy with a greater degree of precision. So if we use AI, ko use karte, to errors comparatively kam ho jate hai. Next is difficult exploration. So these complex machines can also be used for exploring the ocean floor and hence overcome the human limitation. Next is digital assistant. Highly advanced organizations using Avatar data replicas for digital assistant that can actually interact with the human and then save the need of human intervention. Next topic is disadvantages of AI. So the mnemonic for the same is no high unemployment. No ke andar ab teen parts aate hain and then high and unemployment. First no stand for no replicating humans. So it's not possible for the machine to take a decision on a situation which is unfamiliar to them. So, it can perform either incorrectly or a breakdown in such situations. So, no replicating humans. Next time stand for no improvement with experience. So, unlike human, artificial intelligence cannot be improved with the experience. 
नेक्स्ट एंड स्टैंड फॉर नो ओरिजिनल क्रिएटिविटी सो नो ओरिजिनल क्रिएटिव दे कैन हेल्प यू डिजाइन एंड क्रिएट बट दे डोंट हैव अ क्रिएटिव माइंड लाइक अ ह्यूमन एंड नो ओरिजिनलिटी इन दैट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज हाई कॉस्ट क्रिएशन ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस रिक्वायर ह्यूज कॉस्ट एंड एज दे आर वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स मशीन दे आर रिपेयर मेंटेन आर ऑल्सो वेरी कॉस्टली एंड द नेक्स्ट इज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ अूमन विद मशीन कैन लीड टू अ लार्ज स्केल ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज यूज केसेस वी आर वी कैन यूज ए आई सो इन फाइनांस मिंट और टर्बोटेक्स इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन दीज एप्लीकेशन कलेक्ट पर्सनल डेटा एंड प्रोवाइड फाइनेंशियल एडवाइस जेपी मॉर्गन जेपी मॉर्गन लॉन्च द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इंटेलिजेंस दैट इज क्वाइन दैट प्लेट क्वाइन प्लेटफॉर्म दैट लीवरेज नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग वन ऑफ द मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक दिस सोल्यूशन प्रोसेस लीगल डॉक्यूमेंट एंड एक्सपेक्ट असेंशियल डेटा फ्रॉम इट like manually review of 12000 annual commercial credit agreements would typically take around 36 360000 man hours however machine can do the same work in some hours next is wells fargo that uses of an ai driven chatbot through the facebook messenger platform to communicate with user and provide assistance with the passwords and accounts next is plantation so you can so you can see that nowadays ai is getting used in a plantation as well so recently ai was used in accurate drone based planting in mass scale using <coughs> sorry mass scale using seed pots at a much lower cost for the purpose of regreening the plants next topic is risk next is risk and challenges of ai so first is unsustainable hai lesser jobs and a threat to humanity next is challenges for ai so mnemonic for the same is app stamp a stand for advance p stand for probability then again p stand for privacy and security s stand for scarcity t stand for creating trust a stand for algor algorithm bias m stand for one track minds and p stand for fewer people support next is advantages of artificial intelligence so mnemonic for the same is transparent disk transparent stand for transparent technology d stand for decentralization i stand for improved accuracy s stand for transactions are secure and efficient and c stand for cost reduction by eliminating third party verification next topic is disadvantages for artificial intelligence and mnemonic for the same is costly cell costly cell ko aap yaad kar sakte ho costly sister in law ke naam se so costly stand for significant technologies cost associated with mining bitcoin S stand for suspicious liberty to of being hacked. I stand for history for use in illicit activities, and L stand for lower transactions per second. Now let's come to the next topic that is blockchain. So we, as I told you in, in <coughs> so as I told you in starting of the video that we will cover two topics today. First is artificial intelligence, and second is blockchain. So now we are starting with the second topic, blockchain. So principle of blockchain. So and the mnemonic for the same is DL tip. DL so you can learn it like a dl tip so driving license tip d stand for distributed database l stand for computational logic t stand for transparency i stand for irreversibility of records and p stand for peer to peer transmission so this is the principle of blockchain now the mnemonic for the same is dl tip now come to the next topic examples in finance so for mnemonic for the same in Mnemonic for the same is PIC. P stands for payments and reconciliations. Here we are using blockchain. I stands for issuance, ownership, and transfer of financial information. And C stands for clearing and settlement legacy. Clearing and settlement latency. Next topic is these ten challenges. So this mnemonic for the same is vendor scaling data clips. Vendor scaling data clips. Vendor stands for vendor risk. scaling stand for scaling is scalability issues data stand for data security and confidence c stand for credential security l stand for legal and compliance i stand for interoperability between blocks and chains p stand for processing powers and time and s stand for storage will be a hurdle so it's a risk and challenges in blockchain next topic is governance and controls and the mnemonic for the same is business with vendors for gram business with vendors for gram business stand for business continuity business 
with vendors for grams business stand for business continuity vendor stand for vendor management g stand for governance framework r stand for regulatory risk a stand for secure api and integrations m stand for management oversight and s stand for secured key distribution and management policies so mnemonics are for the same is business with vendors for grams jab aap in mnemonics ko ek se do bar padhoge read karoge na तो आपको ये चीजें याद होने लगेंगी और जब आप इन सेम निमोनिक्स को यूज करोगे ना एट द टाइम ऑफ सॉल्विंग मॉड्यूल और मॉक टेस्ट पेपर देन यू विल कम टू नो कि कितना हेल्पफुल है आपको इनको इसको रिकॉल रखने के लिए बिकॉज आई एम टेलिंग यू डीसा का एग्जाम बिल्कुल भी इजी नहीं होता है कि अगर आप सोचो कि नेगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं है और आप ऐसे ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप में कुछ भी टिक करके आके पास हो जाओगे नो इट्स अ डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम इट्स अ कॉन्सेप्ट एग्जाम तो आपको चीजों को लर्न करना पड़ेगा कॉन्सेप्ट से क्लियरिटी लेनी पड़ेगी इफ यू रियली वांट टू गेट योर डीसा क्वालिफाइड कम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज प्रोफेशनल अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन ब्लॉकचेन सो इवैल्यूएटिंग इज एशिया इज अ निमोनिक फॉर द सेम इवैल्यूएटिंग इज इवैल्यूएटिंग ऑफ प्रूफ ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट्स ए स्टैंड फॉर असिस्ट इन इवैल्यूएटिंग द फंक्शनल डिजाइंस एस स्टैंड फॉर ऑडिट ऑफ स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स एंड ओरेकल I stand for impact on audit and A stand for assessment of risk in implementations. Now we are done with the part one of emerging technologies. My next part के लिए भी video को जल्दी ही launch करूँगी. And if you find this video useful, then please comment me below and you can mention your email ID to get a further support on the same. Thank you so much. If you like the video, kindly subscribe my channel and like the video. Thank you.